Believe it or not, in the car right now is Lebo and Bali. They are going on a road trip in Bali's VWT Cross Comfort Line. And during this road trip, we'll take a look at its practicality, at its fuel efficiency, and we'll discuss the price of its optional extras. We've got a lot to discuss, so without wasting any... Hey, what's happening there? Without wasting any of your time, allow us to get started. Just before we do, allow me to say, everything is easier when you're naked. I'll tell you more about naked a little bit later, but first, let's talk about the T-Cross. As I've mentioned in the intro, Mbali and Lebo decided to take the T-Cross out on a road trip. Now, it comes with a 1-liter turbo petrol engine, and this is what it looks like. It produces 85 kilowatts and 200 newton meters of torque. The claimed fuel consumption is 5.4 liters to the 100, but over the 1,000 kilometers Mbali drove it, she obtained 6.8 liters to the 100. So far, I've only mentioned two people that are part of this road trip, but there was someone else, someone sitting in the back seat. Yes, it's Tepo. So Tepo is sitting in the back seat, and because there are no cup holders in the back seat, he has to carry the drinks. While he's here, he's very impressed by the legroom in the T-Cross. Honestly, I wasn't expecting, I mean, Tepo wasn't expecting this much legroom. If you're wondering, what is that on the window? Well, when Bali bought her T-Cross, she decided not to get smash and grab, so the car is not tinted, so it's hot. But the boy is just burning there, so we had to make a plan. In all honesty, this trip was just long for Utepo. Um, Bali and Lebo were in charge of the playlist. They were playing Abu Mariah Carey. We belong together. Those old songs, Jamali, Love Me For Me. You know, those songs from the 90s, guys. Anyway, so eventually they got caught in traffic. They had to listen to Adele go, easy on me, babe. While in traffic, Seppo decided to check out the rest of the back. You've got two USB Type C ports and that slot over there to put a pen. The traffic got so bad, Hilux driver started doing Hilux driver things. You know them. After 50 minutes of listening to basically the whole Adele album, we finally found out what was the real cause of the traffic. There's actually a police roadblock. And this roadblock was on both sides. So when we got to the other side of the roadblock, hey, we saw Rio Shea, man, these guys, ah, they also had a long wait coming. I, in fact, this line was so long. I recorded it until I stopped the recording because I was just tired. I was like, ah, those guys, they're gonna be here for another two hours at least. So let's fast forward through this part and continue with the road trip. Yes, when Nambali sing. A few hours later, we finally arrived. You know, looking at those mountains in the background, you'd almost think it's Cape Town, but it's not. Anyway, let's take a quick look at the interior. As you've come to expect, you have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. One thing I'm a fan of are those physical dials for your air conditioning. Proper stuff. You have two ports for your USB and this one is fitted with wireless charging. Price is on your screen. Moving on to the steering wheel, right behind it, that digital screen is 10,200 Rand. As standard, you get the normal cruise control system. If you're interested in adaptive cruise control, it is an optional extra. It's an option not fitted to this specific vehicle, but it does have keyless entry. If you're interested in park assist, a rear view camera and folding mirrors, it'll cost you 10,800 Rand. If you'd like to spice up your comfort line, you can get this R-Line exterior. It comes with those 17 inch alloy wheels and a couple of R badges throughout the vehicle. Helps to make it stand out a bit. Moving on to the lights, you can't get the Matrix LED headlights on the T-Cross, but you can get these LED headlights for 15,500 Rand. But despite adding that option, you still get yellow halogens for your fog lights. Mm -mm, VW. Mm -mm. And unlike the VW Tiger, no matter how much money you have, you can't get a sunroof on the VW T-Cross. And speaking of the Tiger, for those of you who are new to the channel, all these friends own different VWs. Tepo owns a Polo Vivo GT. Lebo owns a VW Tiger. Spoo owns the Polo TSI and now Mbali owns the T-Cross. Oh, and if you are confused as to why they're all together, after what happened in the Tiger review, they all realized they have a lot in common. Despite the price differences and the different body shapes their cars have, they are all one liter turbocharged engines. <laughs> anyway, so they went on this road trip and came to meet up with Spoo, who's going to help show us how practical the T-Cross is. That boot is massive. I was really impressed with it. And you can adjust the floor, 
and if you're looking for the spare wheel it is right here when it comes to practicality the t-cross ticks all the right boxes from the back seat even to the boot space you won't be disappointed hey i wonder what spoo and lebo are talking about over there i'm sure spoo is just say mara lebo mbali kicho mea hao no ujo ujo kahen awa mara eh kicho tsepo kicho yeah but anyway while they go on talking their stuff let me just say, if you still haven't liked this video, please like. If you still haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Support local YouTube guys, it's the right thing to do. We are on the road to 100,000 subs, so please share the channel. Let them know there's a Mr. How Much on YouTube. And I don't know if anyone else is worried about Lebo calling Swood Temple, but let's just leave it. Now, usually I would show you in detail the place we go to, but hey, this one. It looked a bit different from his pictures, yeah, yeah. But the views... It has beautiful views so because of that i'm cool with it anyway in the evening we went out for a drive to test out the led headlights the road we're driving on was very dark there are no lights at all just trees and bushes so this was the perfect place to test out the lights while they're not as good as the matrix lights they still get the job done when we got back to the place i there was load shedding ish load shedding load shedding is ruining businesses but fortunately they know about this so they left us some candles here so yeah we had to go old school and light some candles very fun times very fun times coming to the next day allow us to talk about the cost of ownership but just before we do if you've always wanted to know how much you're likely going to pay for insurance on a car you have now or on a vehicle you're planning to buy someday feel free to check out naked you just put in a couple of details and in about 90 seconds they'll come up with a price for you so you don't have to wonder yo when i buy my polo how much would i pay for my premium you'll know exactly how much you're going to pay and no one is going to bother you with phone calls afterwards if you're interested in getting a free coat i'll leave a link in the description the base price of this vw t-cross comfort line is 458,900 rand it is fitted with optional extras of 73,900 Rand, which brings its total price to 532,800 Rand. On finance, that is 10,416 Rand, and a full tank of petrol will cost you 1,005 Rand. If you got an insurance premium of 2,000 Rand, it would bring your total cost of ownership to 13,421 Rand. The T-Cross comes with a 3-year, 45,000 km service plan and a 3-year, 120,000 km warranty. When you look at the T-Cross from the outside, you'll be convinced it's not that big, but it's actually an excellent family vehicle. Even if you're sitting in the back seats, there's plenty of space. If you have a lot of bags to carry, the boot has you sorted. In terms of the drive, very comfortable to drive but with that said it's not perfect because of that one liter turbocharged engine every time you put your foot down you'll experience turbo lag and speaking of the one liter turbocharged engine with the options added you're paying over half a million rand for a one liter engine it's expensive but if you insist on getting a t-cross there's a new one that is coming in a few months Maybe it will help drop the price of this one and you can go for it then. But despite its price, there are a lot of VW T-Crosses on the road. And I understand, it's a great product from VW and it ticks all the right boxes. Oh, before I forget, I've decided to name this one Mbali's Car. Please share your thoughts on the T-Cross, its price, its features in the comments below. From me to you, thank you so much for watching. Until the next one, take care.